So this is the undecided voters who will determine this election. I don't know people under 30 who are going to turn out for either candidate after last night. I was hearing from people who are horrified. Joy Behar, Sonny Hostin, and the other ladies of The View discussed Joe Biden's disastrous performance in his debate against Donald Trump and calls for Joe Biden to be removed and replaced by some other candidate. We're going to take a look at some clips of each of the view host what they had to say and i'll chime in with some of my thoughts here and there so some strategists and columnists and some people at this table are calling for biden to be replaced on the ticket but others are coming to joe's defense watch there is panic that has set in among people who have watched this debate who are democrats people who are strategists and some even inside democratic campaigns yeah. do you think it's unfounded well i think it's unhelpful uh and i think it's unnecessary uh we've got to go in and got to keep our heads high. And as I say, we've got to have the back of this president. You don't turn your back because of one performance. What kind of party does that? There was a slow start, but it was a strong finish. And what became very clear through the course of the night is that Joe Biden is fighting on behalf of the American people. He was a very different person on the stage four years ago when when you debated him. You must I mean, that that's certainly true, is it not? I'm not going to spend all night with you talking about the last 90 minutes. Well, when I've been the, watching the last three and a half years of performance. Okay. So uh, let me ask you, is it even possible to replace Biden at this stage of the game? And have Republicans considered replacing their candidate, as Sonny pointed out, with someone who isn't a twice impeached serial liar and a convicted felon? <laughs> well, clearly. So two points that I want to make about this real quick. I think Joy Behar does have a good point here that it could be too late to make a replacement for Joe Biden at this time. The Democrats should have done this a year or two ago. Everybody knew that Joe Biden was too old. There was a poll done in February showing that 80% of voters across all spectrums said that Joe Biden was too old to be president. What about Donald Trump? Well, that's not the discussion that people are having. After that debate, Donald Trump seemed much younger. So the real discussion here is, do they replace Joe Biden and who do they replace him with? Clearly, the Republicans have not, right? Yeah. As Anna just mentioned, yeah. they're, they're not going to do. They're going to fall in line, unlike the Democrats. Um, I liked what I saw from Kamala. I liked what I saw from Gavin. She said he had a slow start, but a strong finish. But I've been watching him for three and a half years, and I know what he can do. With Kamala, uh, the vice president, excuse me, uh, by his side, that gives me great comfort. Uh, with Gavin Newsom as a potential successor, that gives me great comfort. I have no comfort in who would succeed Donald Trump because he has said that he's going to be a dictator from day one. Yeah. So in my view, yeah. if we're going to talk about successors, yes, you may want to talk about a Hakeem Jeffries, yes. the way, you know, you may want to talk about Hakeem, the way Nancy Pelosi looked inside of herself and passed the baton. You may want to do that. You may want to Think about Pete Buttigieg, who I'm not sure if this country is ready yeah. for a gay president, but I think he's certainly qualified. And Gavin Newsom, again, qualified, runs as a governor, runs one of the largest economies in the world. But again, I think people think of we him as too liberal, don't you? I don't think so. I think he's ready. Um, I think any of those people are ready. But remember, we have Joe Biden and we have the vice president of the United States who looked very strong last she time. She did. And I, I think what you saw from both of them last night, uh, from Gavin Newsom and Kamala Harris, who, who are two of the names that get the most mentioned as possible replacements, um, is that they're loyal to Joe Biden. So this entire conversation of replacing Joe Biden, I don't think is feasible unless Joe Biden himself right. decides to, to uh, what about get Jill? out of the... How much influence will Jill have? A couple of quick points here. So Sonny Hostin is a Democratic Party establishment person through and through. So she's going to defend Joe Biden and all the other establishment Democratic Party people, no matter what. I think some of these names that Sonny Hostin throws out here, again, they don't have the name recognition of, I don't, I don't think the, the general public even knows who Pete Buttigieg is. So I think Sonny Hostin is wrong here. The other point that Sonny Hostin makes here is that the Republicans are just falling in line. Well, they had a primary. In the Democratic Party, they didn't do that. And that's one of the things that I think is BS about both parties do this when they have an incumbent. 
They don't have a primary. Have on him. I hope uh, that the people that love him would step in because I guarantee if that was someone I loved, I'd be up in his ear now. You gave him a chance. He deserved that reverence. He was the incumbent president. He was not primary, but the voters have spoken on Donald Trump. As sad as that is, they have spoken. It would be discounting their votes for anyone to retreat him now. But I think the problem here is even Governor. If they were to pull back on on, on Biden, is different. He wasn't primary. Donald Trump was primary. He had they had other options yeah. and He's they chose totally him, right. and that's very sad. What you said, Sonny, about the reason you'd vote for him, like I know three and a half years, that's what all of us who would vote for him would say. The problem here are those people that are wavering, yeah. that are dissatisfied, that are unhappy. Don't say, don't look at that debate. No, that's not, it, that is not helpful. And well, at then this look point, at the if family. the Democratic voice pieces do not pivot, but it's, they will look at lose it. And Sarah Haynes is right here. Everybody saw that debate. These people on this stage, on The View, Sonny Hostin, Joy Behar, and the rest, they're going to vote for Joe Biden. They're all in no matter what. But the average person looks at that debate and they see a guy in Joe Biden who is too old. In November, look at the but again, this isn't, look at all of that. But again, this isn't about decided voters. This is the undecided voters who will determine this election. I don't know people under 30 who are going to turn out for either candidate after last night. I was hearing from people who were horrified. They were embarrassed by it. It got into like their golf handicaps and this like pissing match between oct- octogenarians. It's not right. It's beneath this as a, a nation. And listen, Joe Biden is a good man. I think he loves this country. I think I he's agree. a patriot. I think he's not a felon. The history books will remember him well if he passes the baton. If he stays in and he will lose to Donald Trump, he is losing in every battleground poll. Give it two weeks till people process this debate. He will be plummeting. You know, he risks turning this country over to Donald Trump. These people who are like sitting on the fence or something or, or we're all in for Trump. I'm fascinated by that. You know, it's almost like, you know, you know when you're a woman and you're dating. So you have a really nice guy who takes your... Hold your pocketbook while you're shopping, yeah. you know, or, or like really treat you well. And you ha- you're bored with him. And you got this other on the one motorcycle. who's a convicted felon on a motorcycle. Yeah. You're hot for him. Yeah. He's the guy, yeah. you know, that's where and who grabs you by the make- hoo-ha without yeah, your consent. Exactly. What a stupid analogy by Joy Behar. Dating is nothing like voting for a president. Theoretically, people are going to vote for the person whose policies they believe are going to be the best for them and the best for the country. So yes, Joy Behar, would it be great to have a nice guy as president and somebody with good policies? Yes, but let's face it, a lot of times politicians are not nice or even good people. You know, none of us have to live with these people. We just want them to do the things that we believe are going to make the country better. So this is an idiotic statement by Joy Behar. But Joy Behar, Sonny Hostin, and the rest, they are Democratic Party establishment people, so they are going to toe the Democratic Party establishment line no matter what. Joy Behar, Sonny Hostin, the rest of the View hosts are wrong once again. But what do you think? Who do you agree with here, do you think? Joy Behar, Sonny Hostin, the other View The other women on The View, do they know what they're talking about? Are they completely wrong in this situation about Joe Biden? And that's the real topic here that everybody is talking about. Is Joe Biden fit to run again? But let me know what you think about The View, Joy Behar, anything else you want to talk about. Leave me a comment, a like, and subscribe so I can grow the channel. And I'll see you in the next video.